just for today, June 26th. Surrendering Self-Will Our fears are lessened and faith begins to grow as we learn the true meaning of surrender. We are no longer fighting fear, anger, guilt, self-pity, or depression. Basic text, page 26. Surrender is the beginning of a new way of life. When driven primarily by self-will, we constantly wondered whether we cover all the bases, whether we manipulated that person in just the right way to achieve our ends, whether we missed a critical detail in our efforts to control and manage the world. We either felt afraid, fearing our schemes would fail, angry or self-pitying when they fell through, or guilty when we pulled them off. It was hard living on self-will, but we didn't know any other way. Not that surrender is always easy. On the contrary, surrender can be difficult, especially in the beginning. Still, it's easier to trust God, a power capable of managing our lives, than to trust only ourselves, whose lives are unmanageable. And the more we surrender, the easier it gets. When we turn our will and our lives over to the care of our higher power, all we have to do is our part, as responsibly and conscientiously as we can. Then we can leave the results up to our higher power. By surrendering, acting on faith, and living our lives according to the simple spiritual principles of this program, we can stop worrying and start living. Just for today, I will surrender self-will. I will seek knowledge of God's will for me and the power to carry it out. I will leave the results in my higher power's hands. Just for today, June 26th.